We're about to show you the best of the city that is known as the diamond capital of the world. Welcome to Antwerp. There's no better way to start exploring the city than from the central station of Antwerp. It is one of the most beautiful train stations in the entire world. The stone class terminal with a vast regal dome over the main waiting area is the source of national pride and the finest example of railway architecture in Belgium. Wow, I always say the first impressions of the city are so important and this recently restored train station, wow, it is the most magnificent one I've ever seen. Whether you arrive by train or not, this place is a must visit when you're in Antwerp. And right next to the central station is the famous Antwerp district of diamonds, where rough and polished diamonds are traded. The city has been known as the diamond capital of the world since 1447, and it still is today. Around 85% of the world's uncut diamonds find their way here and the result in employment of more than 30,000 people. You can't really visit the trading markets here, but there are plenty of shops selling diamond jewelry. 1,000 for this tiny little diamond, look. It's 2,000 year old, this is 2,000 years. <laughs> I think this is the safest district in town. There's multiple cameras on every single store. And look, you can't even go inside. You have to buzz yourself in and they have to let you in. Walking in Antwerp, you'll notice these hands everywhere. That is because there's a local legend here of a giant that used to collect toll roads for anybody that's crossing the river. And those who didn't pay, he would chop off their hands. Until a young Roman soldier named Barbo defeated him. He cut the giant's own hand and threw it into the river. And this is said to be the origin of the city's name, which is hand burping, which is Dutch for hand throwing. Another messy place is Antwerp's Harbor. It is the second largest seaport in Europe, and here you can spot the oldest crane serving back to 1263. But here we've come to see the most iconic building of the city, the 60 meter tall red building called Museum an der Strom, which is also known as Museum of the River. It was opened in 2011, and in addition to its interesting collection of art and exhibition, Mass also hides a few lesser known gems. A facade full of hands. There's 3,000 aluminum hands embedded into the wall of the museum. First of all, they represent the legend we told you about, about how the city got its name. And second, anybody that donates over 1,000 euros can get their hand embedded into the wall. We don't have 1,000 euros, so let's go inside. The real reason we've come here, this incredible 360 degree view of the entire city. This city is so elegant and so gorgeous. What an incredible 360 view of this entire city. Antwerp's latest architectural jewel is this porthouse. It might look like a funky design, but it's where the future and the past come perfectly together. The bottom part used to be a fire station, and the architects were given only one requirement. They could not demolish the fire station and had to be integrated into the new project. It opened in 2016 as a symbol of the immense growth the port of Antwerp has had. Insane! After all this walking, I am starving. So I'm gonna go to the next museum where you can eat. Museum Chocolate Nation. The biggest chocolate museum, Belgium chocolate museum in the world. This is not an ordinary museum. It is a museum of experience. We'll be taken on a journey and we'll be told the story of Belgian chocolate. From my favorite castle in Europe. Chocolate castle. Made entirely of chocolate. Oh, it's like a little bit. 
During your tour through the museum, you'll find the chocolate traditions, history, productions, and innovations that have built its worldwide reputation. Of course, the best part of the excursion is you get to try the 10 different flavors of chocolate from dark to white to every variation in between. You can try it again and again and again and there is no limit of how much chocolate you can eat. We're going to enter day with another Belgian delicatess, beer. We find the most unusual bar located right next to the Antwerp Cathedral that literally translates to the 11th commandment. Interesting company. They're quiet, but their looks, I feel a bit judged. This unique culinary pub with a spectacular interior that includes nearly 500 religious statues make it one of the best touristy attractions in Belgium. Sadly, our time in Antwerp is coming to an end. But what can I say about this destination? You have to come here for the weekend or even if it's just for a single day. There's so much to see here. Beautiful museums, amazing architecture, delicious chocolate and beer. Oh, and trust me, I've tried chocolate all around the world and I have to say that this is the best one yet. We have to go though for our next destination, so we gotta catch the train. But we hope you subscribe and watch our channel and see you on the next adventure.